Hello viewers, welcome back to my channel. This is John from Cloud Tech Insights. In today's session, I want to talk about Cloud 3 Haiku model, one of the models that's been recently released on Amazon Bedrock and other cloud providers. I also want to highlight what's the importance of Cloud 3 Haiku model and what are the different features, what are the typical use cases that you can use this model for. So let's start with why does Haiku matter? It's First of all, it's incredibly fast. Think of processing 30 pages of text in just one second. That means analyzing customer support logs, legal documents, or anything text heavy in a flash. Here's the coolest part. Haiku has a huge memory. When we say huge memory, it has a context size of 200K and it can understand reference over like 500 pages of information within a single conversation. So this means a larger window or a context helps the model to remember and use all the details provided in the context and then comes up with a better response. This helps it handle complex instructions, summarize big documents and have detailed discussions. And especially when you start implementing or productionalizing some of these model which is like a b2c business to customer facing you can always have some, some of the static prompts uh, and uh, ready-made responses for certain prompts in so that you can avoid fine-tuning the model you can avoid training the model you can avoid reinforcement learning the model so it really helps having a bigger context window so, so in some of the previous videos, I explain why try to avoid fine tuning the model or try to avoid any kind of training the model because it's expensive, it's time consuming and the weights for these deep learning networks change. And sometimes it's, it's for the good, sometimes it will be overfitting or underfitting. So to avoid training, a context is really important. So playing with the prompt and having a bigger context really helps you tell the model how to respond, how to behave to the customer when provided with certain prompts. So that's where a Haiku uh, or in general Claude 3 family stands out with 200K in context. That makes a huge difference um, and that saves a lot of time, avoid fine tuning and training the models. In their website, they also mentioned that these models are capable of handling up to 1 million tokens. And based on the customer request and the use case, they can pump it up to 1 million token, which makes it even more favorite when it comes to the Claude 3 family. So the next comes the pricing part. So the Haiku is priced at like 25 cents for a million token. The output is 1.25 million tokens and similarly followed by Sonet and Opus they are like the higher end models but uh, the pricing is pretty good compared to the open AI models like GPT 3.5 turbo comparable I would say highly comparable to Haiku uh, cost you like 50 cents per million token and one dollar fifty cents for the output as well and looking at GPT-4 is like $30 per million token but those are like the high-end models which can be compared with probably Sonet or Opus. So let's go to a, a quick demo on showing how you can access Claude 3 Haiku model on Amazon Bedrock and a quick comparison with its predecessor models to demonstrate the speed of its response. We have the Amazon Bedrock console here. Go to the model access. Ensure that you have access to model Haiku. You can always click on manage model access and get the access to the particular model. And then go back to the chat playground. And here I'm going to pick the Anthropic Haiku model. And I'm just going to turn on the compare mode and select the predecessor model from Anthropic, which is Claude uh, 2.1. And then I'm gonna provide a prompt and see how each of those model responds. So I'm gonna uh, type a prompt called write a poem on an LLM model 
analyzing data. Let's see what the response is. So give it a few seconds. Haiku responded immediately. The 2.1 is still working on pro providing the response. And overall, you can look at the model metrics, uh, the millisecond latency. Uh, it's at least for this prompt, it took uh, 2.1 took twice the time, more than twice the time. And the uh, overall input token uh, pretty much looks good. So this is where Haiku stands out, the speed uh, of the response is pretty good. And like I said, the context is also good. Uh, I will probably uh, do uh, some videos on uh, showing uh, how we can leverage the context for, or to help with some of those customer facing use cases. So with that, I'm concluding this session. Uh, please subscribe for the latest information and hit the like button if you like the video. Thank you. See you in the next video.